Good evening, ladies and gents. My name's Chris. Uh, I'm originally from the UK. I'm living and working in Germany at the moment. I'm 26 years old. Um, and uh, I've decided to start a YouTube channel. Um, this is really fucking weird for me. I've never just looked at a webcam and spoken about stuff before. So, um, yeah, that's a bit strange. Um, but basically, I'm creating a YouTube channel because um, my biggest defining feature as a person, I think, is the fact that I'm an atheist. Um, I'm one of these really annoying people that every time they see the the uh, religious right uh, come out and uh, do something heinous, uh, I'm the person that annoys all their friends on social media and goes, Oh my God, have you seen this? This is absolutely disgraceful. Um, but... There's a lot of people on YouTube that I follow um, who already deal with this kind of material. I'm a massive fan of The Amazing Atheist. He's just bang on the money. Um, Mr. Repsion is also fantastic. Thunderfoot is also great. And there's there's many more besides. But there's one thing that um, I don't think gets covered enough. Um, and that's this claim that the world is so wonderful and so uh, beautiful and it's so perfect. How could you possibly think that it hasn't been created by some divine being with a divine plan? How can you possibly think this all came about by chance? And the way I'm going to tackle that is to um, look at nature because I don't think people have delved into it enough and this may be out of not being able to access the information, not knowing where to find it. It might be just out of pure ignorance. Um, it might be just down to the fact that you've been um, taught that everything is wonderful and beautiful in the world. I don't know. It could be for whatever reason. All I know is that um, I've argued with a lot of Christians, and uh, this point comes up a lot. So... What I aim to do is go through um, many clips of nature documentaries, um, especially those from my absolute hero, um, Sir David Attenborough, who's had over 50 years experience working in the field, going to dozens of countries, dozens of ecosystems around the world, looking at hundreds of species, their behavior, their habitat, how they survive, how they uh, recreate, and all of these things, and point out how many of this seems really fucked up and has an underlying message of how cruel the world is and how everything is just trying to survive and hang on and, and, and give its offspring the best possible chance. And what I want people to think about when they watch these videos is, did this come from a divine being or is this the result of um, a process that has happened over millions of years where organisms desperately tried just to get to the next stage, just try to survive, just try to stay around. Um, because this isn't just the case of, oh, well, God made an animal and then the animal decided how it wanted to behave and if it does bad things, then it's not God's fault. If you think that this is a plan, this is a perfect creation, and especially if you're a creationist who thinks that Everything that is now uh, was created by God, you know, 6,000 years ago. Then you believe that this God um, willed these processes into existence. And that's just something I can't, I can't accept. Because there's so much cruelty and brutality to go along with the wonder and the beauty of the natural world. So... I hope you enjoy the series of videos. Um, I'm really looking forward to making them. Um, and I, please like, subscribe, comment, share. It'll be awesome. And let me know what you think. See you on the next video.